A lot has been happening in the world of GTA 6 and beyond in the last few days, so let's oh, get yeah. straight into it. Recently, I reported to you about a serious data leak from Rockstar Games. And, and guys, this is gonna knock your socks out. Sit down, kiss your loved ones goodbye, because we're hearing that the full 200 gigabytes of file is about to get released, of which it may include the GTA 6 assets. Oh, and we do not know what it contains. Will it have, like, more Burna gameplay leaking out for uh, Lucia? Servers, which resulted in the full source code of GTA 5 being released online, along with a lot of of information about GTA 6 and Bully, and Bully 2. 2. In addition, we learned Agent that the developers well. have been working on a completely new brand since the premiere of Red Dead Redemption 2. However, it seems that's not the end. As for further information, the community has finally found the actress who will play Lucia, one of the two main characters. She is Maniel Perez. This was confirmed by a well-known... This is apparently Lucia here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, like, I know some of you suckers would be like, like, zooming in uh, on your phone, you know, like that stretch and it. Come on, man. There's gonna be so so many simps, bro. User named Legacy Kill HD, who Damn, specializes in obtaining information about Rockstar Damn. Games productions. As seen in this post on X, a f and right here she's like strong, independent, mm -mm, not need no man. And it feels like that this is really, really her. I know there's some people that are like, nah, man, that's not her, bro. Say you swear to God, bro. Say you swear to God. I, I, there are a lot of inconsistencies that's happening. There is a lot of proof, Bruh. and uh, looks like that that's the, the actual actress behind Strong Independent Lucia, ladies. And Fan with the username Dilly shared a comparison between Mani and the GTA 6 Lucia character from the Yay. game's official trailer. Besides a strong facial resemblance, the report shared an interview clip in which the supposed actress denied any involvement in a voiceover role for the Grand Theft Auto series. You, you did a voiceover on Grand Theft Auto? Like, I'm currently replaying Grand Theft Auto because I have nothing else better to do oh. in spare time. No, so, I haven't. What? No. <laughs> you, do, you know? No, I haven't. Stop the cap. No. Well, who messed up on these questions, James? <laughs> However, in a yeah, different- Imagine she's actually telling the truth. Okay. Emergency meeting, emergency meeting. Get your cap meters right now. One, if you think lies. Two, if you think facts. Because let's be real. If this is facts, then this is going to make the GTA community look so like- So bad, bro. Because like, the, 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 everybody's jumping to conclusions. <gasps> Let's be real. Everybody's jumping to conclusions, and in the, in the very beginning, when we first heard the rumor about that it's gonna have one female protagonist and one male protagonist, a lot of suckers were like, "Me, I'm not gonna play as a female character, this and that." And I and I understand the sentiment, right? Because let's be real, you do not know whether she's gonna be strong, independent. You do not know whether they're gonna emasculate Jason. You do not know whether they're gonna give Jason that Bud Light and changes that sucker's gender, right? We do not know. So I understand the frustrations and the the, the complaints and the the, the reasons. Uh, behind these concerns i i get it i get it so i just don't want to see uh jason getting that gender swap though right so i get it but then they then we ended up getting that lucia bruna getting leaked out right uh, that leaked out i mean all the way back in september not like leaking out it did leak right so that leaked out and a lot of people were like uh, <laughs> Make no mistake though, when the game comes out, Sega's gonna be finding her OnlyFans. There will be a lot of chicks that will absolutely make themselves look like Lucia and uh, sell their pictures to the kids out there, which is just, just sad. For an but interview, she mentioned transitioning into voiceover and motion capture, fueling the rumors of her being the voice actor for Lucia. But right now, I've been transitioning my career into voiceover and motion capture. Okay. So now she removed all her posts on Instagram as well as turned off the ability to tag her in photos yeah. due to multiple people tagging her in Lucia related posts. Yeah, if she, she was tired of being all this and not Lucia, she'd make a statement like Alexandra C did a few months back on Instagram. True, She's true. keeping quiet because Rockstar is probably forcing her to. Another fan, Jericho681. And, and with like the movies and especially like uh, Rockstar games, right? I, I, I believe that she just does not want to get blacklisted by other talent managers and for future roles because you gotta understand this like she I, I'm, I'm assuming that she if this is like the actual actress i'm assuming that is she in her mind she's probably like okay well they're probably gonna think that i broke my nda i leaked it to the, uh, to the world about this project i leaked it to the world that i'm gonna be in the game when it's not official who's gonna be you feel what i'm saying so she, I mean, she's taking precaution, and, and I get it, though. I, I understand. Posted a clip from Law & Order where she played a role. You took everything from me. My childhood. My little sister. There's gonna be a whole lot of career. simps, bro. Like, I was almost out. It's like it started I simping already, to be honest. You and all your baggage behind. I was a fighter, and I was damn good. 
I had a chance, but now I'm stuck in the... You can't change your past, SB. Fuck you! I've been talking to you! You took everything from me! Oh, damn. Yeah, I think... I think we're gonna have a good game. If this is like... I think we're gonna have a good game, ladies and gentlemen. We're probably gonna have a good story, you know? What I'm saying? I think we're gonna have I think it. everyone agrees that GTA 6 character is in good hands if yes, the alleged sir. actress does the voiceover for the protagonist. This is not the first time fans have speculated about who's yeah, voice. It's not gonna be like young, yeah, like ruining Kiryu, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it's not gonna be like that, man. Listen, man, I I don't care for Kiryu because I'm not like necessarily a fan, but I understand. Like I've heard so many fans actually go crazy mad at like Young Yeah for that, and I've heard that drama. I'm like, damn, son. I'm like, damn, bro. Voicing Lucy. Young Yeah, Young Yeah be like this right now. Young Yeah be like this right now. You know what I'm saying? He used to be like this. Oh my god. But, oh my god. But it'd be like that, man. Yeah. Previous rumors suggested Ana Esposito as the actress behind the fictional character, with fans sharing direct comparisons damn. between the two. Neither actress has confirmed in. Mama. Involvement in the upcoming GTA game and Rockstar Games has not shared any details either. I know there's no confirmation, but just take a look. GTA 5's Michael Actor was found eight days after the reveal trailer. Of course, back then, many people didn't believe it's actually him. Same thing happens right now, when GTA 6's alleged Lucia actress was found 19 days after the reveal trailer. Crazy. I think it may be actually her. 19 days? Come on, man. Come on, Brad. Like, Yelsa is taking that long to find, like, an actress. Yelsa is... We're talking about the goddamn internet. This is a planet of 8 billion people. 8 billion people. And you're telling me the internet detectives couldn't find her within like 19 hours? That's some bull squash, bro. That's some bull squash. Y'all bozos be taking way too long. <laughs> no, I'm joking around. I mean, 19 days, that's like crazy, though. The internet detectives really be killing it, to be honest. In the meantime, there have also been reports suggesting that hackers already released another 200 gigabytes of data from the GTA 5 source code, including assets and 3D models used in the creation of Michael, Trevor, and Franklin's story. Take oh Two God. is trying to remove the leaked files from the internet, but it is an incredibly difficult task. Late. Besides Bully 2, it's too late right now. It's it's too late. Like once the world saw that Lucia Brunei was Joe over, like why would would you even try to remove that? But but I guess I, I guess for the gameplay, it's yeah, once the gameplay is out on the internet, it's Joe over. Once these files are out, it's Joe over, but I guess that uh, obviously the source code file, most people don't necessarily care for it. Only people that have the understanding care for it, right? But you and me that just simply wants to hear the news and see the gameplay, we don't necessarily care for the source code. We're like, oh shit, you know, source code got leaked out, damn. We talk about it, whatever, you know, we talk about it, we sleep. But if it's like gameplay leak, oh my god, I'm saving that. I'm saving it on my hard drive, I'm posting it. <laughs> I'm telling everybody about it. I'm telling uh, my dog about it, my grandma about it. I'm like uh, uploading videos about it, right? And everybody's like re-uploading gameplay, gameplay, like everywhere, right? But this source code, yeah, people don't necessarily care uh, that much. It's just one of those things, right? The GTA so 5 it, source code leak it. also mentions Midnight Club 5 and two canceled projects, Agent and GTA Tokyo for PlayStation 2. Oh my god. Oh my god, I think that was a real image. I did see that on the internet. Uh, yo, you really playing with fire, my G. You really put that real image on. Did the, uh, don't, don't scroll back. Uh, I, I know, now everybody's gonna, <laughs> now everybody's gonna. That image, I believe, I, I seen it, and I believe that's from, uh, the agent. Yeah, the leaks are real, guys. Now just a few years away from Bully's 20th anniversary, an insider, Tez2, believes Bully 2 could be the next project for Rockstar after GTA 6. He reveals that Bully 2 was shelved after two years of development between 2008 and 2010. It would have featured the honor system found in Red Dead Redemption 2. Do you guys want to see Bully 2 come out? One if yes, two if not. Uh, obviously I never really played Bully, so I'm not gonna, uh, obviously I can act like all goofy, which I do 90% of the time, I can act that way and be like, nah, bro, like, don't have it, don't have it. Personally, I never really played it, so I'm not necessarily a fan, so I'm not, I'm gonna keep a buck 50, I don't care whether it happens or not, I would prefer something else happens. Now, hold up, wait a minute, hold up, wait a minute, now, for the fans, okay, come here, let me send you some kisses, uh, for the fans, I think the fans definitely deserve it. The, the fans deserve to get bullied too. What I'm proposing here is this, okay? After GTA 6, we get Eleanor 2, okay? Uh, wait for it, wait for it. Eleanor 2, and alongside that, we also get bullied too for the fans that want it. How about that? How about that? 
How about that? Did I just redeem myself? Like the video if I redeemed myself. And the and map would have been like three the times too. the size of the original, with every building open for exploration. Until then, Rockstar fans will have to wait. However, with GTA 6 reportedly being the studio's main project, it might be a while before we see Bully 2. According Sadly. to the leak, Rockstar Games canceled eight- And to be honest though, guys, I'm gonna be realistic. I know I just redeemed myself and you guys are probably gonna be like, yeah, hey, skill up, did you just really just shed that? But guys, okay, honestly, honestly, brother to brother here, brother to brother, you know what I'm saying? Let, let's be real. Let's be real. I don't think we're gonna get bullied too. Oh my god! Like, I, I don't... I, <laughs> I, I just don't think it's gonna happen. But if it happens, I hope it happens for the fans that I agree, but... GTA 5 story DLCs. These include Prologue, Liberty 5, Agent Trevor, Assassination, Manhunt, Norman Relationship, and Enterprise. Oh, Rockstar dang. originally planned these DLCs to be as extensive as GTA 4's episodes from Liberty City. Norman is speculated to be the zombie apocalypse episode featuring either Michael or Franklin as the playable character. The what? prologue is speculated to contain content related- Oh shit! Oh, shit. You're saying we could have had zombies in GTA 5 like a Undead Nightmare DLC? ...did to the game's prologue in the area of North Yankton, while the Liberty 5 DLC is a full-on conversion map of Liberty City in GTA 5. Rockstar's Bruh. campaign against map mods converted into the GTA 5 engine earlier this year could be an indication. Damn it, Rockstar! Damn it, man! Y'all like cancel all of them just for that piece of trash GTA Online? Come on, man! We are... I know GTA Online is successful, and listen, even I want to see it. I want to see GTA Online uh, 2, 3, 5 billion Bruh. even. I want to see GTA 6 Online 2, 3, 4 billion, whatever. Yay, we love it. Yay, we love it. We want to see that happen, but Brad, not at a cost of all that, all the DLCs getting cancelled. This could have been great. Like, GTA 5 already, in my honest opinion, is a very good game. This could have been an insane... Uh, like, over the... For how long did this game has been running? 10 years! 10 years! And if in these 10 years we had these 8 DLCs... Dog, you suckers could have had all of this DLC for single player. Alongside single player. You suckers could have had it for online too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying! You could have had it for yeah, online! Why... Why... Could, bruh, like, why y'all suckers cancel? Man, that's beyond me, dog. ...indication that Liberty City was, at some point, supposed Hell to come to GTA though. 5. And if you wonder why the game's source code even leaked, here's why. It was allegedly bought for $2,000 in a group buy amongst a group in the modding community. Allegedly, yeah. one of the members of the group buy, Kieran Austin, contributed no money during that group purchase, which resulted in him getting the source for free. He allegedly then... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what a crazy! He got it for free, the other guy spent two grand? Damn. Yo, can a brother got two pennies here? Tried to sell the code for $6,000 and scam another individual, but he failed. Kieran then attempted several times to sell the source code for from $200 to $500 to people on Discord, which is way cheaper than the initial $2,000 group buy. That didn't matter for Kieran, as he paid nothing to get it to begin with, so this was all profit for him. He continued to try and sell it, but was making no profit. As a result of this, he leaked it out of spite. If he wasn't able to make a profit, he was going to make sure no one else could. This leaked source code allows anyone to build the game and run it. The teenager who hacked Rockstar Games and sold this code was sentenced this month to an indefinite hospital order for fraud. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, while he is, let me actually show you guys this, okay? Oh, not this, my bad, my bad. Check this out, okay? While he is in hospital prison, this is him right now. Let me show you guys the... the yeah, this, this is the one, this is the one. This is him. This is the original GTA 6 gameplay leaker, Orion, you know, who got that hospital prison, in hospital prison. This is him. He's just wit <laughs> He's just witnessing the source code get leaked while he's in hospital prison. If you guys got Twitter, I would love to have your own. Let me send you shit. Uh, I would love to have your own. Fraud, blackmail, no, 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 and more. No, no, no. The hack okay, so cost no, no. Rockstar Games five million dollars in damages. On the GTA 510th anniversary, an ex Rockstar Games employee and Yo, concept artist for the game posted his early concepts for Trevor and Franklin, and they completely. <laughs> that is also a real image. Check out this video on the screen. We had like 200 gigabytes of data leaking out and whatnot, and I will see you right there. Okay, check this out. Actually, this video is insane because you know it can have a the, the leak could have been a playable or can be a playable demo. Oh shit! And I will oh, see you right there. Check